CEC tuko na pro, tuko na shida sana eh watu wetu ndio hawa hautaona watu wetu kwa watu wako naomba mahali wanaenda na, na kikombe watu wako naomba kitu lakini makutano tuko na shida tuko na watu wanatoka ile ndoto wanatoka na gari wanatoka na gari hapo alafu wanasunguka wengine wanachukutia chini na wanaomba jioni unawapata wako kwa gari wanarudisha ndoto kwa hivyo mimi nataka sheria ikiwese ipitishwe kwa sababu watu wetu dia hao hawajakuja kule ama mnataka tuachilie watu wetu pia wakuje naona hiyo kitu tukawajilie watu wetu watakuja tu na itakuwa mbaya sahihi lakini atutakubali wageni kutoka nje kuja kutuharibia heshima yetu ya West Pocket Asante ile kitu inaitwa educational assessment walileta educational assessment assessment hapa tukasunguka tukapata vile ofisa amesema size amesema kweli tuliona watoto wengi na hii shule haina watoto tunataka mwaka mpya ikianza tu hivi tunataka watoto waingie kwa hiyo madarasa watoto waingie eh head teacher ako hapa amesomea amesomea eh, masomo maalum ya kuhudumia hao watoto kwa hivyo ni mzuri sana watoto waletwe wazazi na waomba mlete watoto sasa shule msisema atujui nini leta tu watoto wakwe shule ya ya wa shule kitu kingine eh bwana SCC kuna forms za blue watu wamecheza majasa hizo forms na ukijaza hiyo form unasapata kitu yote kusi tu ndio ya na na UND lakini hii imekuwa success kitu kingine ambacho ninataka kusema sasa ni kwamba eh, sisi kama shirika tumejaribu ku kuangalia donors ambao wanaweza kusaidia kwa mfano hapa hii darasa madarasa ambayo unaona hii ni sisi ndio tuliweza ku, kuongea na national fund for the disabled of Kenya tukaambia hawa kwamba wasiwe tu wakijenga mashule wapi eh makutano unajua wanajenga shule makutano wapi peke yake kapengulia lakini huku hakuna shule yoyote inajengwa kwa hivyo hii shule ilikuwa tumekusudi tuliongea na hawa na hii shule ikajengwa na tumehakikisha saa hizi vile tuko na hakikisha saa hizi shule ya watoto ambao wako na hearing problems hii ni moja moja iko Kiringeti tunataka kila sub county at least iwe na shule ya hearing impair ndem eh tumejaribu hata Arpolo labda hivi karibuni wanaweza kujenga hiyo shule wa watu wa National Fund for the Disabled of Kenya kwa hivyo hapa mimi ningeliomba first lady kwamba wakati tunajenga hii tumejenga hii shule itaanza grade 1 2 3 na kuendelea mbele lakini kitu ambacho tutakosa hapa ni ECD kwa hivyo tutaomba ya kwamba ECD iweze kujenga hapa ndio ndio hao watoto wasaidike na mimi nimeshukuru naunganisha wale mavo na huduma services na huyo mwenye ameongea hapa saa hizi alitulisunga na yeye karibu 10 days siku kumi tukisunguka hii area na ilibidi kupitia Turkana ndio tufike sehemu moja ya Akoret tulienda karibu masaa matatu atuoni chochote tukasema tukasimamisha gari tukasema ama kama tumepotea mtueleze lakini ilibidi kweli tuende tu hivyo ndio tusunguka na magari tufike mahali naitwa sijui wapi kule kwa hivyo hiyo ni changamoto na amesema kwa hivyo mimi niko na mambo mawili matatu hivi ya kwanza nataka kushukuru mashirika ambaye yamefanikisha hii mkutano ya leo kusherekea siku hii wa watu wetu ambao wako na ulemavu uh, aina aina kama world vision sisi ni watetezi wa hali zote za watu wetu wa ulemavu kwa sababu hawa moto ni kuwa kuhakikisha kuwa services and opportunities maslahi ya wale mavu wanapata wanapewa nafasi zile ambazo zitaweza sikawaguza katika hali yote ili wao pia wapate kuishi maisha ya kawaida kama world vision na tuna address hayo kwa sababu tunajua kuna courses kuna vitu ambazo zinasababisha hata watu wetu kama ni watoto wawe na ulemavu 
tunajua moja wapo ni mambo ya afya ambayo ni duni mambo ya miundo misingi mambo ya kutokuwa na mashule na mambo mengine na kwa hivyo tukishirikiana tu address hiyo tutakuwa kwanza tuko tuna prevent disabilities ila ambayo watoto wetu wala ambao wanazaa na ulemavu hiyo tunazuia ili sasa tuwe na wenafanya hiyo mambo ya uh, uh, assessment our programs tunafanya kitu inaitwa gender disability and social inclusion tunafanya hiyo assessment ili in all the interventions ambazo tunafanya tunachukua masuala ya wale mbele kuhakikisha kuwa waume na kwa wake wala ambao wako na ulemavu na wala ambao wametengwa wao ndiyo tunawapatia kipao mbele katika miradi yetu kwa sababu wakati ambapo tunainua hao na tunajua tuko tunainua jamii yote tu, tunaweza tukaongezea na kwa hivyo uh, yangu ni kusema asante our first lady and other guests who are present as well vision we are ready and we are committed kufanya kazi na county government and other partners ili sasa kuhakikisha kuwa maisha ya watu wetu ambao ni walemavu tu, 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 tunayaendeleza na tunayahakikisha kuwa wana, wanaishi maisha ambayo ni kamilifu na watu wetu wengine pia tu, tunawainua ili zote pamoja tuwe na maisha ambayo tunaweza tukajifurahia asante sana the national government and the government government have put in place to ensure that those people living with disabilities are getting to school for example there are bursaries i know that this is the period that the government is still the county government is still transitioning and i th i know by january or by when the school will open the bursaries will be there and those bursaries should be given priorities to those people living with disabilities because they don't have that capability of assisting themselves so we are very much we are we are in a era that the county government both with the uh, the national government are really trying their best to ensure that all students or all people living with disabilities are catered for in terms of education also in that those people who live who are living with disabilities they should register companies they should need companies they need they should have formed some groups so that they have uh, their own company they can borrow money from uh, this national government funds they are really assistive to these people and we want to hurt you we want to hurt the people of Aralele that rush put yourself together and form groups so that the national government can assist us with these funds. Let's utilize them because it is universal for the whole country. In education, implementing the inclusive education policy for learners with special education needs has improved the quality of learning and teaching. The national county government and all stakeholders in the disability sector are eye to allocate bursary funds to people living with disabilities to enable them to acquire the necessary skills and knowledge. This program aims to improve persons with disabilities enrollment, retention, completion of education circle for the eventual engagement in decent and gainful employment. Education support offered. There are Maurice Ogweno, mimi ndiyo ACC wa hapa. Na nataka nichukue fursa hii nikaribishe wageni wetu. Madam umekaribishwa hapa. Uh, mara mingi huwa tunaambiwa na tusibague watu wetu wenye wanaishi na ulemavu na hata ni atia kubagua mtu mwenye naishi na ulemavu lakini hapa tuko na shida moja na tu watu wetu wenye wanaishi na ulemavu wanabaguliwa kwa familia juzi 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 tu hapa kulikuwa na assessment ya disability na hiyo assessment ulikuwa tunafanya kwa ofisi yangu hapo na ilikuwa watu walikuwa wengi lakini cha ajabu that watoto hakuna watoto hapa eh hii nyumba 
ilijengwa na kuna mamilioni hapa yenye ilitumiwa kujenga hii nyumba for so many years mpaka leo madam uko na watoto wangapi eh hey, tuko na watoto kumi na tano ndio wako hapa eh sasa mnataka tuseme that watu wazima wenye wanaishi na ulemavu wako wengi lakini watoto wako ni ukweli ndio tunatetea haki ya watoto kwa jumla wawe walumavu ama wawe wasawa bado ni watoto na siku ya leo tumefurahi sana kwa sababu ni siku ya kuidinisha uh, siku ya kukumbuka mtoto ama mtu mlemavu duniani na tuko hapa na shirika mbalimbali partners mbalimbali ili kusherekea siku ya leo na kusema ya kwamba ulemavu uh, si kitu ambayo inaweza zuia mtu kufikisha ndoto zake lakini siku ya leo kama wana kijiji wa Alale tunahimiza ya kwamba tulete watoto tusifiche watoto tusifiche kule manyumbani tukisema ya kwamba wale mavu si watoto ambao uh, watakuwa na faida uh, hivi majusi sisi kama shirika tulifanya assessment ya wale mavu wote katika Alale ward na tukatembea hizi location zote tano tukapata ya kwamba watoto wengi sana wamefichwa manyumbani. Na ukiuliza mzazi ya kwamba kama mbona waleti hawa watoto wanasema ya kwamba kivuta kidoni eh? Kidoni kama atinile na hakikia cha utafiti kepe cha kepwani cha correct mlimani. Koche mrung. Hakuna barabara. Na wale mafu wako pande hiyo wale vision inataka kujenga modern ECD ya correct next year lakini tunajikuna kichwa saa hii hakuna barabara kwa hivyo pengine tunakupea tu siku ya leo ujumbe ya kwamba pengine uongee na member of uh, uh, member of the national assembly tunataka barabara at least ndio isaidie mambo yengine hizo uh, projects ziendelee hali next year hata mambo mengine mambo ya network unaona hii milima hata wakiweka booster hapa network itakuwa mzuri sana na coordination najua tumekuwa na changamoto ya coordination tukifight mambo ya early child pregnancy na FGM bila network unapigia chief hako mteja na chief akipata ujumbe upande ile hata hawezi kukupigia kwa sababu hakuna network kwa hivyo tunaomba utusaidie kwa upande hiyo Uh, bila kuchukua mengi na kwamba watu wetu wengine ambao sasa hizi wako na ulemavu wapate kutengwa na sisi wote tuliumbwa na Mungu. So ninge nimekuja leo in solidarity kwa wale ambao wako na changamoto ya ulemavu. Nikiwahakikishia kwamba tuko pamoja. Tuko pamoja katika safari hii ambayo Mungu ametuweka katika hii dunia. Sisi mimi kama kwa organization yangu ya CICR ama mtetezi wa haki ya binadamu mimi pia pia utetea wale mavu. Na huwa anasema ya kwamba tuhusishe wale mavu katika viwango vyote. Hata kaile, katika ile uh, policy making wale mavu pia wako ndani. Tusikuwezeshe tuziwaweke katika implementation ama baada ya yani ile tumeamua tufanye nini, tuwafanyie nini, tuwahusishe katika hiyo mipango pia. Uh, katika ile programs ambazo niko nazo pia za through our uh, sponsor kuna dona wetu mmoja inaitwa Signpost International anatusaidia kwa mambo ya over dependency uh, uh, reducing over dependency and poverty eradication. So hapo ndani nimesema pia wale mavu wako ndani kwa sababu sisi wote ni moja. Ni kweli? Eh, sasa hapo tume, tumeanza kama pilot project lakini nasema ya kwamba tukirolden major project Mungu akitujalia tutakuja alale pia. Why